we got we get lots of different types of groups. Um, we get a lot of Christian groups who come to the mosque, but also we just get people, random people who wander in or who, or who email the mosque, wanting to ask questions. I first knew about the exhibition uh, through word of mouth. I've lived in Edinburgh for seven years, so um, I came here before I was a Muslim. That was my first experience of the exhibition. It was, it was very interesting when I first came. There's a lot of information, an awful lot of information, um, and uh, some of it I, I didn't quite like, but um, uh, yeah, it was, it was definitely a, a, a food for thought. I was raised Christian and um, I was a little bit, uh, uh, I guess, insulted um, with uh, how Muslims view Jesus because that was obviously not um, how I was raised to, to, to believe things uh, and so I find that a little bit difficult to, to accept. Um, but uh, my, my journey to Islam took uh, a year and a half or two years uh, of a lot of reading, a lot of research, uh, a lot of soul searching. and. Um, in the end, uh, uh, it's now, um, alhamdulillah, I'm happy with Muslim. When it very first started, it was really just posters on the wall. And, you know, as you've seen, the presentation of them is much better now. We've included um, a new poster set last year about women in Islam, because that's a really important subject. I find a lot of people, uh, especially women, uh, come and ask me, okay, so um, did you convert to Islam? Are you, uh, were you born Muslim? Um, and they're often really interested in why I did and uh, am I happy? This is a question I often get asked, are you happy? You know, um, And uh, I think it's really good to have women and men working here and to, to allow uh, the visitors the freedom to come and ask you questions and, and have them answered. What you're trying to do is um, to dispel the myths and stereotypes uh, conveyed by the media. And uh, one of the biggest uh, stereotypes is about women. So um, that's why we, uh, in the exhibition, we, uh, we've got um, a set of posters trying to explain the, uh, the, the status of women in Islam and their rights. Because nowadays, again, because of the, of the media coverage, a lot of people think that um, the, the Muslim veil, for example, has become far from, far from being uh, a sign of modesty, it has become uh, a sign of oppression of women and uh, sometimes a sign of extreme, uh, extreme religious bias. But let's look at some of the examples which are from the Quran. Um, we have uh, Mary, who's mother of Jesus. And there's many characteristics that we, as, in terms of role models, we can take from who Mary was and her position. I think it's very, very important to create spaces. Now, how you create those spaces can, you know, can be done in, in different ways, but obviously one of them here is you have this kind of space, which is um, you know, an invitation into the mosque. I was hearing one of the women actually saying that, um, and she's now converted to Islam actually, she was saying the first time she came to the mosque was around one of these, the Islam fest, festival because she wasn't sure whether she could come in at any other time. So by actually positively saying, here we are, welcome, you know, here's the kinds of topics that we will be discussing, it kind of gives the match for people. It's giving the invitation, please come. What I can't quite square in my mind, 21st century in the UK, there seems to be a fairly tight set of conditions that dictate the women's way of life, the women's physical presence. Um, you know, I choose to dress like this. I've, cho I've chosen to convert to this faith and I've chosen to dress like this. I'm also educated, I've got a degree and I work as a GP. Now, I don't feel that I don't fit into modern-day Britain. You know, my husband may wear a suit and tie when we attend functions and I would dress uh, in the way that I dress today. I don't see that that is in any way in, uh, in, in disadvantaging me to advance in modern day Britain. We, we're now in a context where um, from out with the, the Muslim society, the messages are that women are subservient, the messages are that you know they can't really think for themselves, they just do what the, the, the man is saying to them. Um, so that's why it's important to be able to assert you know, and make that kind of positive statement. 
but also from within the, the Muslim community, I think that there's, there's challenges for, 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 for sisters. Um, where we haven't reached the, you know, the ideal that Allah has set for us. And, and if you go back to uh, you know, the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and um, you know, the level of importance, especially he gave to women's education, you know, he, he, he knew that the, the, the reason for that is that it's actually the women uh, generally are the educators and you know, the, they're, they're not only the educators of their own family units, but they're social networkers in many ways as well. So therefore, you know, their, their um, activities transcend just their own family units as well. It's a very, very important a key role. I think that Muslim women need to um, organize themselves. And that's not about Muslim women versus Muslim men, nothing like that. But it's actually about organizing themselves to increase their own self-development and be confident enough to actually then engage in some of that dialogue some of those contentious areas, um, but from the, the, the perspective of having scholarly knowledge about the subject, so still within the parameters of, of the faith, which I think most women, this is where, that's where the position is, that's where they want to come from. It's not about saying, I reject this faith, but it's actually about saying, how can we ensure that what, what, our, our, what our Creator has given us you know, is actually the quality of life that we're experiencing. So uh, this um, festival is a, a long month um, series of events. Um, it's, uh, it's basically, it starts really from the 1st of August till the, the end of the month. And it's, uh, it's part of the Edinburgh Fringe uh, Festival, which where the Edinburgh, Edinburgh Fringe Festival is a, is a, is a, is a festival of um, art and um, cultural exhibitions.